Grade 8 Math, number 11.2a. Hello again, everybody. This is chapter 11, and we're going to talk about angle theorems for triangles and the sum of angle measures in a triangle. Do you remember last year in 7th grade math, we talked about triangles in chapter 8.2? If you didn't, you might want to go back to my grade 7 math playlist and look up all the videos that start with 8.2. We learned that the interior angles of all triangles total 180 degrees. Well, there's exterior angles for triangles, and if the measures of the interior angles total 180 degrees, and if we have an equilateral triangle, you remember equilateral, all the sides are equal, all the interior measures are equal, then we know that they all are the same measure, but total 180 degrees. 180 divided by 3 would be 60, so we know every single angle would be 60 degrees in an equilateral, wouldn't it? Well, we can find exterior angle measures by using the interior angle measures. So if we know this is 60 degrees, I can use that knowledge to find out what 4, 11, or 10 is, or any of the other ones, if it's equilateral. Okay, so here's our big triangle. It's an equilateral, so we know it's got three equal angles, 1, 2, 3. We know the sides are equal, and I've extended the lines on them. See that? When we extend the lines of a triangle, we can see the exterior angles, and we can use the known interior angle measures to find the exterior angle measures. So because it's an equilateral triangle, and all the insides are equal, we know that 1, 2, and 3 are 60 degrees, don't we? The sum of interior angles of a triangle total 180 degrees. That's the triangle sum theorem, okay? Theorem? What's a theorem? Well, in geometry, we have a thing called proofs. And we use definitions, which is the formal meaning of something, you know, the definition of a word when you look up in a dictionary. Or we can use theorems as a statement that's been proved by a chain of reasoning. So let's take a look at this. We know that the sum of interior angles of a triangle total 180 degrees because of the triangle sum theorem. We also know that supplementary angles total 180 degrees. We've talked about that in previous videos. So that's the definition of supplementary angles, isn't it? Well, then that means that the measure of angle 1 is 60 degrees because it's an equilateral triangle and all the angles are the same. So the measures must be 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 60 degrees to total that 180, right? So the measure of angle 1 is 60 degrees. So now we know that and we've proven it, okay? We know it's 60 degrees right here, okay? So what's angle 4? Angle 4 is 120 degrees. How do I know that? Because of the definition of supplementary angles. The angles total 180 degrees. So if measure of angle 1 is 60, then 4 has got to be 120. See? 60 plus 120 is 180. Angle 1 and angle 4 are supplementary. This together would be 120 degrees. So if that's 60, then that's got to be 120. See that? Well, we can also do this with angle 5. If we look at it this way and look at it as this is our straight line and we're trying to find this angle, see? 60 plus 120 is 180 and that would be supplementary. So we know this one's 120. See that? Let me get rid of these red lines. So guess what the measure of angle 6 is? If we went like that, and angles 5 and 6 were supplementary because they make a straight line where my hand is, angle 6 has got to be 60 degrees, so it'd be 180, right? Now look at how that turned out. These two are opposite each other, and they're both 120 degrees, and these two are opposite each other, and they're both 60 degrees. Well, we're going to talk about that more in the future. But right now, we know what those angle measures are. We know that angle 4 and angle 5 are 120 degrees, and angle 1 and 6 are 60 degrees. So we know our exterior angles. Now, because angle 2 is also 60 degrees, we're going to get the same thing down here. And because angle 3 is 60 degrees, because it's equilateral, these are going to have the same measures. See that? So by having this one angle measure, we found all these other ones. Now, what if it wasn't an equilateral triangle? Would it still work having this one angle measure? What if it was a weird shaped triangle? And we knew that this was 30 degrees and we extended the lines. Would we be able to find this measure? Yeah, because it would have to be 180 to be right here. 
So if this is 30, that would have to be 150. See that? And if this is 150, that's 150. And if that's 30, that's 30. So even in an odd-shaped triangle, we'd be able to use that. See that? I just used an equilateral one to make it easy on you. Now I want to show you one more thing. I've got this triangle over here. We know a straight line is 180 degrees. See? It's considered a straight angle. See that? I have a triangle here, and if I pull this triangle apart, and you can try this at home, take a triangle, and then rip the three corners off, okay, and mark them. Mark, see, can you see the dark mark here? That's one vertex, there's another vertex, and there's another vertex. I can take this one and leave it here, and I can move this one and put it up here, and I can take this one. We want all the black points to stick to each other. So all the black corners are together. See how I got all the black corners together? And look what it did. It made a straight line. So this angle and this angle and this angle together make a straight line. They make 180 degrees. And that's a way to prove that it's got 180 degrees. Isn't that something? Try that. Try that at home. It's kind of fun. All right. In our next video, we're going to talk about justifying the triangle sum theory theorem. Okay. And we're going to continue on. That'll be 11.2b. I hope to see you there. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget, I'm on Patreon.com. And you can also support my channel through fan funding. And I'll see you there. Bye.